of the inspiration and leadership development, and more importantly, it's about learning and self-discovery, thus contributing to strengthening our anufali as a nation. Translated to the nurturing of the young sturdy pomuli native tree that will become a potu, or main pillar of a maota, or Samon Falitele in the future. Our government is grateful for the vision behind the Digital Miss Samoa pageant this year. And we acknowledge the leadership of Onomia Productions and the support of Digicel, our naming rights sponsor, and other partners who have contributed to the success we have all witnessed in the past two weeks leading up to the crowning event tonight. Your commitment and dedication is appreciated, and we look forward to the journey ahead on how we will continue to drive the Miss Samoa platform as a mechanism for advancing the development of our young Tamaitai Samoa. In closing, I want to wish all our 10 contestants the very best this evening. We trust that the journey that has brought you here tonight has prepared you well to engage in the Miss Samoa pageant. This means, whatever the outcome, your upbringing as a Tamaitai Samoa still holds strong and true where your values and identity remains unchanged and the same values that we all share of love, reciprocity, kindness, and compassion, and respect, to name a few, will ensure that you will continue to be supported in the paths you choose as daughters of Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Prime Minister of Samoa, it is my absolute pleasure to declare the crowning night for the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant 2023 officially open. Salalaunga a le Digicel Miss Samoa pageant Lua Filua Tolu i Lunga o le Radio Samoa wa mafai ona awina atu ona o le lango lango mai a le e Veni Pacific. Ia fia me na o mi mata afa ma e mamoli atu lo matua nga nga fa aftai lau fia nga le tai tai o tato malo mo lau sao no nga fa la e au lea o mau o lunga i le tato fa mo mo le nei fia fi ia o le matua o tato I ato mai langi manu awa faiva mato finga la wa fionga ma ia mau ape la to fa awa le fianga ia ma le tai tai nga le tato malo fa ape tio tato wa tunu thank you madam prime minister for gracing us with your presence and for delivering the keynote address for our crowning night ladies and gentlemen that concludes our official formalities for this evening I will be your host for the evening, and joining me as our co-host is Litofa Aiputau Kolisi Viki Alofaituli. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, our co-host for this evening. What a great start to an evening of culture and creative excellence. I suspect that the girls can't wait to get on the stage and we should now get on with the show. Yes, Leituala, there's been um, a hype around this year's Digicel Miss Samoa pageant and even I can't wait to see what the girls have in store for us. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we begin our program for tonight, we want to provide a brief overview of the journey to the Digicel Miss Samoa Pageant 2023. Our cultural heritage continues to be the key reference point for the convening of this year's pageant, building on the true essence of the Tamaitai Samoa and the importance of sustaining their cultural attributes premised on our cultural values and therefore emphasizing that ele ole fale a ole anu fale and this has been and continues to be the foundation upon which we are reshaping the Miss Samoa pageant. Our efforts this year has also allowed us to make history in the way the Miss Samoa platform has been delivered. You have all witnessed that we now have a premier night where last Wednesday we were able to complete the first two categories of this pageant, our sarong category and our pulitasi category. And for our crowning night, ladies and gentlemen, this evening we will deliver the following remaining categories. The first one is the Siva Samoa, the second one, the talent, the third one is the traditionally inspired attire, and the final category, ladies and gentlemen, is the stage interview. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our opening number will be performed by our Miss Samoa 2022 and 2023, and the young women who participated in the Onomea production, Anofale Mentorship Program, this opening number is a combination of the unique performance at the Anofale Cultural Heritage Exhibition in July this year. It will feature the graceful movements of the Siva Samoa as witnessed in the Miss Samoa pageants of 1994 and 2012 by the renowned Samaitai choreographers Le Fale Tua Malo Lo Manu Malo Okalitsa Melesea Mase Yuli Vai Fote Mese. So my Thai Samoa, so we are. <laughs> Oh, 
It's definitely taken us back down memory lane. And this is one of the significant aspects of our approach to the pageant, where we're really oh. maximizing the potential of this platform to promote, to protect, to preserve our cultural heritage through performing arts and dance. Yoele Tuala, and speaking of cultural preservation, the next category of our pageant is the Siva Samoa. The Digicel Miss Samoa pageant this year includes the revival of the Siva Samoa as a mandatory component in the selection of our Tsausala. The Siva Samoa category is judged on the ability of the contestant to perform the Samoa Siva, demonstrating the essence of the Tama'itai Samoa, their elegance and humility. It is also based on her ability to translate Uo Nomea through their performance of the Siva Samoa. Yes, so ladies and gentlemen, introducing our contestants for the Siva Samoa category. Let's welcome onto the stage your contestant number one. Opelu and I'm proudly sponsored by Lavash Couture for Fatai Tele Lava.
Auf sein Mahlzeit Zauber, Moamur, Miss Lavash Kotua. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming our contestant number two. to the stage, your contestant number three. Salofa, Salofa, Salofa Lava Samoa. Olo Wingo, O Helen, Sofa Yu, Isolo Lemcio, Olo Langolangoina, Malmalosia, O Eletene Lake Creation.
Papzaya to the Tamaitai, Tauvan, Numeratolu, Miss Tane Lele Creations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome onto the stage your contestant number four. Alofa Salofa Lava. My name is Miracle. Afele. I am deaf and I am proudly supported by the Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters. Thank you. of Sign Language Interpreters. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming your contestant number five. Talofa! Aloingoa o cherish fa'amanu manaya. And I am proud to represent the Samoan community of New Zealand as your Miss Samoa New Zealand. Faftai.
Kapitän Lava and to my Tai Taubanu Miralima, Miss Samoa New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome onto the stage your contestant number six. Hey, hey! Talo Falava, Wau Ovailei von Dinklage, Lango Langoina, Ele Jet Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome onto the stage your contestant number seven. Tala falava Samoa, fape a foile paia o vasenga i famasino. O lo wingo o siliva sia ea. Ma o lo langa langa ina ma lo sia ea. E enas ele. What's in so my lord so salah we So you're vae. I yet so o if I am a new young man. 
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your contestant number eight. Greetings and Tala Palava Samoa. Again, I am Nicolina June Akui. I am your contestant number eight, and I am proudly sponsored by the number one insurance company in Samoa, Apia Insurance Company. Siva Samoa is all about telling a story. My story for you tonight depicts the art of one of Samoa's all-time favorite sport, Kirikiti or Samoan cricket. Sit back and enjoy.
Salva Numeraiva, Miss Samoa New South Wales. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome along to the stage your contestant number 10. Salofa, Salofa, Salofa Lava. Oloingo, Carameli, Sarah Purcell. Maolo Lango Lango Ina Malo Siao, Ele Arile Couture. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our Siva Samoa category. The Digicel Miss Samoa pageant 2023 has been made possible with the support of our sponsors. Ole fa salalawa ala Digicel Miss Samoa pageant lua filua tolu ilunga ole Radio Samoa wa mafayo na awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ala Eveni Pacific. The Digicel Miss Samoa Pageant 2023 is made possible with the support of our following twin sponsors. Your naming rights sponsor, the fastest mobile network in Samoa. Journey together with Digicel Samoa. Samoa Tourism Authority, Native Events Hirich, Eveni Pacific, Bo2 sponsors, Fiji Airways, the official airline of the Digicel Miss Samoa Pageant, TV1 Samoa, our Digicel Samoa Pageant official broadcaster, Samoa International Finance Authority, Samoa Ports Authority, Urban Sounds, Kava Bo Media, Balefuyono sponsors, National Bank of Samoa, Lauau sponsors, your number one store, SAP, simply the best, and Bluebird Lumber and Hardware, Fafitai Telelava. Next on our program, is the introduction of our esteemed panel of judges. Our panel of judges are tasked with the difficult role of selecting our new Miss Samoa 2023. Our main judges are... Our first main judge, ladies and gentlemen, is a communications and community development specialist. He is the chairman of the Anglican Education Mission in Samoa, and he's also a respected radio and television personality with over 40 years of service in the entertainment industry. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing judge number one, Lea Fionga Yafa Mausili, Chris Bance Solomona. Our second main judge is Miss Samoa 1994, 
a consultant uh, for FedEx Express and Western Union, and an adoring grandmother to her four grandchildren. She is passionate about our Samoan culture and performing arts. Lea Fionga Ya Lili Olivao Malietoa Thompson. Our third main judge, ladies and gentlemen, is the Managing Director and Property Manager of Lisana Lele Business Complex and Native Events Hiridge, Amatai Tomaitai, who has served her family, community and nation proudly and a leading example of successful women entrepreneurs in Samoa. Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, Lea Fionga Amiatu Catherine Longo Chuling Faulatoi. Our fourth main judge, ladies and gentlemen, was instrumental in the development of national policies and community programs for the empowerment of women, youth, children, and persons with disabilities. A prominent Samoan performer and custodian of traditional Samoa creative and performing arts. Ladies and gentlemen, Lesusunga Ileaoao Fa'awina Fafetai Goria. Ladies and gentlemen, our head judge for the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant 2023 is the first woman governor and chairperson for the, Samoa, for the Central Bank of Samoa since 2011. She's passionate about women's empowerment and is a musical recording artist with a deep connection to Samoan folklore and culture. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our head judge, Lefionga Mayava Atalina Emma Ainu'u Enari. We also want to announce our alternate judge for tonight. The role of the alternative ju uh, judge is to step in should either of the main judges is unable to fulfill um, their role. Ladies and gentlemen, our alternate judge is the principal lawyer of Hazelman and Associates, Lesusunga Litama Itai, Yasoma Hazelman. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have our special award judges who will be responsible for judging the fashion designs, our Siva Samoa, and the special awards category of the pageants. Our first special awards judge is the renowned Siva Samoa performer and choreographer, who is also the leader of the Samoan Teachers Cultural Group. Ladies and gentlemen, Lea Fiona Yatuiloma in Ipenesi Manu. Our second special awards judge is passionate about the arts. She's a designer, she's a weaver, and Samoan handicrafts enthusiast with over 20 years of experience in the Miss Samoa pageants. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Le Fiona Ya Kim Kyle. Our third special awards judge is the pioneer of the Louis and Chang law firm and Maunga Louis fashion brand a first combination of its kind in Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Le Fionga Ya Muriel Louis. In addition to our esteemed panel of judges, our scrutiny is responsible for the tabulation of the judges' scores and preparations of results. Our first scrutineer is Samoa's Fulbright Scholar and current monitoring and evaluation analyst with the United Nations Development Program. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Lea Fionga Ya Falanaisa Anga Sitaleota. Our second scrutineer is a certified accountant and member of the Samoa Institute of Accountants and Head of Finance at the Bank of South Pacific Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Le Susunga Ya Rapi Laauli Vahai. On the premier night, the results were sealed and handed over to the Commissioner of Police. We now call upon the Deputy Commissioner, Papa Li'i Mona Lisa, for handing over our results from the premier night to our scrutineers. And we also take this opportunity to acknowledge the Ministry of Police, Prisons and Corrections Services for their role in ensuring the security of the judge's decision thus far. Ole 
vaenga o ta tau ta wanga o le asa so oi o ta leni ata mai ta ita wa ladies and gentlemen next on our program is the talent category and this category is often the most anticipated of the contest and for tonight each contestant will have 3 minutes to showcase her talents and captivate the audience ladies and gentlemen i now call onto the stage for her talent performance our contestant number 1 Tashana Lee Opelu Miss Lavash Katua Good evening, Tashana. Oh, hey, Siri. I would like to give you three challenges for tonight. Okay, so what do I do? Please, press me for options. Tashana, you are to perform a Mexican dance. What? Playing Suavemente by Elvis Crespo. Suavemente, besame, que quiero sentir tus labios, besándome otra vez. Suave, besame, besame, suave, besame otra vez. Suave, yo quiero sentir tus labios, suave, besándome otra vez. Suave, besa, besa, suave, besa un poquito. Suave, besa, 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 besame otro ratito. Suave, pequeña, échate pa' acá. Please, press me for more options. Okay. Tashana, you are to perform Michael Jackson. Siri, I think I'll take it from here. The floor is yours. Young I miss it. I'm a fire king, say. I can let it cry, cry. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome onto the stage contestant number two. Moi Lotto Le Ula Lema Mai, Vito Lia Chausi Wilimina Tula Epa Tia Tia, Miss Lotto Tau Agency.
Moelotto has a love for many things and is naturally gifted. Tonight, she showcases her love of dancing, singing, and art in harmony. She's chosen these talents to share tonight because they represent who she is as a Tamaitai Sam. To pay homage to her grandparents and mentors who have shaped her way of life. Contestant, ladies and gentlemen, is contestant number two. Miss Helen's talent aims to inspire youth of today to embrace the essence of innovation and the need for creativity by transforming our God given talents and the limited resources we have into commercial possibilities. Miss Helen's talent portrays the art of painting, which is an artistic skill unique to her and those specialized in this spectrum. Helen understands that not everyone is gifted in the academic mainstream and not all have the opportunities to soar within the usual career prospects of the workplace setting. Through her talents, she encourages young aspiring artists to take ownership of their artistic skills and materialize their artistic ideas into commercial prospects, not only for their benefits, but also in terms of mere entertainment and appreciation of the public. In staying true to her talent, Taini Lele Creation will be demonstrating the art of painting using her sponsor's logo to showcase her talent and skills. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome onto the stage your contestant number three. Helen Taufayu is Tolo Lemisio, Miss Taini Lele Creations. Creation is God's work of art. You too can create beautiful works of art, expressing your heart. It becomes a source of livelihood, a source of inspiration, a source of joy.
is Jane LLA Creations. It feels great to be accepted. It feels wonderful to feel welcome. Despite the negativity surrounding my participation in this pageant, I am grateful that I am still here and continue to represent my deaf community. Persons with disabilities, as well as the sign language interpreters here in Samoa. My song choice for tonight was chosen as it resonates with the way I feel and the way I have decided to carry myself despite the negativity surrounding my participation here. My performance will be in sign language as I believe that there are many deaf people in the world and in our society that rely on, rely on sign language to communicate and exist in this world. With sign language, I am equal, and with sign language, I am not a stranger to the dark. Hide away, they say, because we don't want your broken parts. I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars. Run away, they say. No one will love you as you are But I won't let them break down the dust I know that there's a place for us For we are glorious When the sharpest words want to cut me down When the sin of blood gonna drown them out I am brave to be, this is me, look out cause here I come, and I'm marching on to the beat I drum, I'm not scared to be seen, I make no apologies, this is me. serving airlines Air New Zealand, welcoming people from all walks of life to the land of the long white cloud. 
However, tonight, she is inviting you to travel with her to the cradle of Polynesia, the heart of the Pacific, to discover the beautiful destination of Samoa, her home, her land, her people. She invites you now to please fasten your seat belts, put away your drinks, make sure your seat is in the upright position, and be ready to take off on a journey of a lifetime with Miss Samoa New Zealand, Cherish Farmanu Manaya. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome contestant number five, Miss Samoa New Zealand. that will forever echo the spirit of this captivating island. Flight attendant, prepare the cabin for landing. Welcome to Samoa, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for choosing for flying with Miss Air New Zealand. We welcome you in the future. So for my Thank you. Thank you, contestant number five, Miss Samoa New Zealand. Miss Jet Samoa Talent is inspired by her interest in sports, comedy and entertainment. She believes that sports can be used as a tool to promote culture, tourism, economic growth, and collectively, collectively bring our people together as one. From a family of strong and humorous women, and her background in media and journalism, my lay hopes to use her skills in this area to entertain our audience tonight. My lay aims to demonstrate the Pacific and Samoa spirit of unity when it comes to sports and inspire young Tamaita'i to be confident in who they are and their talents. Miss Jet Samo's talent was choreographed by Baba Ali'i Alexandra Yakopo Atong and put together with the support of the Jet Samoa team. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome her to the stage, contestant number six by Leigh Von Dinglish, Miss Jet Samoa. Six eight five when you speak and speak Six eight five when you really low Six eight five we be rolling Six eight five we be trolling Six eighty five around the world It's a beautiful morning here at six eight five If you don't know what six eight five is six for the age of the commentator eight for the tongue and scores and five for Tio Samoa I'm just kidding Looking at uh, the weather today, we have the sun shining from the east and the rain pouring from the west. What a weather. Hmm. Looking at Tosamo's lineup today, 
We have one tough game ahead. But don't forget, Jason Tomalolo is not here to play around, but it's here for the crown. Or, I mean, the golden ticket to the finals. Both teams are vying for that one spot. Who do you think will it be? Oh, wow! As Spray and Thor dives under the post, the crowd goes wild. What a fantastic performance! Good combination from Jerome Luai, Stephen Crichton, and of course, my favorite cousin, Brian Toho. Proud of you, son! Proud of you! Oh, uh, wait a minute. Looks like Jason Tamalolo is not giving up without a fight. There goes the pass from Tamalolo. Tamalolo to Kofusi. Kofusi to the wingman to bow. Oh, and there he goes! He scores at the far end of the Abia Park Stadium. What a match! Fantastic! Okay, wait a minute. Hmm. Looks like the whistle has been blown, but it's two minutes left on the clock. I am not sure why, but it looks like it's a foul play or a dangerous tackle. But let's wait and see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A scrum? Looks like the ref has scored for a scrum just because there hasn't been any throughout the game. If falling on my wall, illy le fa la fa li le fa illy, or na le a umal tay me le ifa ya skalamu. Oka mata uti le fa yunga, matanga matanga tele. Mana yel malosi mal skalamu to Samoa. Today my tonga push up Samoa. Who ima kili ya tulo la mana me o brown. Pass up for my la crash swali. I fa tali mal tay ma fa ipoi po Stephen Crichton. Whoa, 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 yes, I do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My mind was in my malato. My mind was in my way, my little toy, Samoa. Se fulu malevalu, se fulu malelima. Congratulations, my love. I am so proud of you. And so is the rest of Samoa. Well, there you have it, everyone. We will see you again at the Rugby League World Cup against the Australian Kangaroos. I'm a fire kill, say. I kill it, kai kai. Fire my love. Lima lunga, lima lunga, lima lunga. Ala seki ya lima oila lo. Fuo fule le lima lau mi. Ole ma uo pai la la. Mila 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 mai. Mila 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 mai. Kope 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 la. Kope 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 la. Mila 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 mai. Mila 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 mai. Presentation is important. How we look, how we dress, and how we speak. Women may at times have difficulty looking for the perfect outfit, but if you have the right skills, a positive mindset, and a can do attitude, an impossible situation can be changed into a world of possibilities. Siliva's talent is inspired by her childhood experiences where she had watched her mother make use of simple resources found around her home. Growing up, life was not economically easy, but with a creative mind and an appreciation of the limited resources, they had everything. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome onto the stage for her talent performance, contestant number seven, Siliva Siaea, Miss Enes L.A. Feel good. 
Number seven, Miss Ennis Ele. Women all over the world have fought hard to be given equal rights as men. Yet one has stood out from the rest when she mesmerized the world with her phenomenal and fierce stage presence. Not only is she a role model to our young women, but also a beacon of strength to the world. The icon we all know and love as Beyonce has set the performance bar so high that most artists can only dream of reaching it. Hence, why it takes a special talent to embody that presence of women empowerment for you all to witness tonight. Please welcome Miss Apia Insurance Company, Nicolina. You're the only one I see 
Symphony. Where Moana's talents brings to life the legend of Nafanua. She fought in battles to protect her family and village, and she was successful in liberating her people. Nafanua was powerful, resilient, brave, and fearless. And as Moe Moana steps into the role of Nafanua, the very essence of this warrior goddess comes alive. She portrays Nafanua's fury as she gazes upon her family suspended from the trees. In that moment, we feel the depth of her emotions, her anger, her heartache. The fire in Moe Moana's Sivafi performance is an extension of Nafanua's power. Nafanua's indomitable spirit continues to inspire modern Samoan women and men with its timeless lessons. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome onto the stage our contestant number nine, Moe Moana Safa Toshwenki, Miss Samoa, New South Wales. Miss Arile Kotua's talent tonight is inspired by her love for the performing arts. This evening, Karameli will be drawing on her dancing and acting skills to encourage our youth to remember before you are anything else, you are Samoan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage contestant number 10, Miss Arile Kotua. Caramelli Sarah Brazil.
Ladies and gentlemen, Beyonce. Left a good job in the city Working for men every night and day And I never lost one minute of sleep Cause I was worried about the way things might have been Big wheels keep on turning Brown Mary keep on burning We'll be rolling, rolling, yeah Rolling on the river If I and their talent category. That concludes our talent category, ladies and gentlemen. I am Anatu Ole Avavaya Foy Sitato Fafiafianga, Maita Maitai, Ole Polokalame, Ole Anufali. But before we go to our entertainment, let's have a word from our sponsors. Ole fa sala launga ala digital Miss Samoa pageant lua filu atolu ilunga ole radio Samoa wama fai ona awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ala e veni Pacific. Te fio mai ai ile Shine Dental ai e ai 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 nga fa pitoa mato te sali ali after pay zip Q cards fa pay wins quote ile Shine Dental e fa e fua fa talonoa nga mali ACC ile Shine Dental le ai se tsongi mo fa nau ile ba ole se fulu lo ole se fulu valu tu sanga ile Shine Dental talonoa mai le tsongi ina le fa nga oni fo e fa nga ai le zip smile now pay later le ai se tului ile Shine Dental a fio mai le lima fitu fa Great South Road manukau pe vala au le lua fitu fitu ono ono fa fa Lua fitu fitu on ono fa fa mole shine dento. Ole fa sala launga ala Digicel Miss Samoa pageant lua filu atolu ilunga ole Radio Samoa wa mafai ona awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ala e veni Pacific. Faile afionga ya ngalu male mana la kisa toe lupe a renowned Siva Samoa dancer and choreographer and tonight the Anofale girls will be performing to Puniala Vaas Fiangaina Litao Sala. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back onto the stage the Anofale girls.
Okay, moving along with our program, Leituala. Our next category is the traditionally inspired attire. The traditionally inspired attire must be created from traditional materials only. Example, Yetonga, Zappa, seashells, Loba, coconut shells, Afa, and etc. There must be an emphasis on creativity and design in this original piece. The contestant receiving the highest total score in this category will receive the best traditionally inspired attire. Please welcome contestant number one, Tashana Lee Obelu, Miss Lavash Couture, in her tra traditionally inspired attire. her shoulders is symbolic of her wish to seek forgiveness from the people of Samoa for what she may have done wrong in the past two weeks. As she gracefully removes the Itonga, she reveals the modern twist to the Ofu Taupo where all her stories about beautiful Samoa comes to life. The top part of her garment represents Samoa's native birds, Ole Manumea, Ole Toloa, Ole Manutangi, Ole Ngongosina, and so forth. Graced with feathers, the afa or coconut twine, the lopa, the crushed shells adorn the crest of the bird that represents the front of her outfit. From waist down, the multitude of colors splashed on Tufala or of Botu of the sacred Tuinga. This piece was designed and created by Tino Schmidt Stowers of Lavash Katua. Shana Opelu, Ms. Lavash Kotua. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number two, 
רואה לוצו, לאולה לממאי, וינצור ליה, צ'אוסי, ולמין הצולה אפציאציה. נס לוצו טאו אייג'נסי. אוללה אי או לצאוסה לה לא צאו, או לנאו נאו צאין האי אי לא עטין, או לאן לא פאלה, או לאונו מאה. אין הציעו אהוניאנה לסבא אדינה, על עצמה איצה איסה המוה, אין אי יונה פה. או אי לא אי, או לממלו לצמה איצה איסה המוה. אמו אי לא נלא צאו. או לנפה צאוסי מה יונה צואה, אצו ופאה סולו. או שצאו סימאה אילו נלא צאו איפה לאו אהינה, נו ומאה קהלי אסיה. לעצור צאה פוציפוצי מפאה פאי לילי, ימה ווואה לא נצמה לי אנה. או יהיה עולה לאי אוי מה צאו סאוע, אלה ממאה, איפה אינה אילה נא נא נא, איפה אמאו אילה נצאו מה נא נא, איפה אממה לו יא נציאו, יפה עצמה לי אי מפאה צאו סאלה. הוא עשי אמה ומאי לצה פסולו, או אמה נועו, אמה איפנוה, מצא לצנוה, הוא האוצו אוצו מאי פולינה ואיה, או שצמא עצה עם אמלו, עצה לה או לבבהו, או לצמא עצה עי, או נא נא איפנוה. מוי לא צולה אולה לממאי, אגנולג'ס דה קונטמפרי ג'רני אוף אי צמא עצה אי סאמואה, to unearth elegance finis. The traditionally inspired wear of Miss Lotso Tau Agency commemorates the holistic reverence of Atama Itai Samoa. The same reverence embody the warrioress Nafanua who guises herself in the battlefield amongst warriors. Like so tonight, Moi Lotso incorporates this reverence in her overall wear as a warrioress herself within a warrior-dominated battlefield of artistry. This is her Fasinomanga. Her birth land of Aotearoa gives Baua. Her Savai roots, Aliao and Siapo. Each detail of natural elements encapsulates the experience, experience of abundance and richness. Symbolic to Onomea, illustrating evolution of oneself into an Onomea holistic spirit. Customarily molded droplets depicting Ua, Sao, misty dew of the morning evening. Lao Tsa Mu engulfs the dew, as with the warrior Nafanua time of battle, and as does with Moe Loto in her Onomea quest. All adornments are hand sewn, the, per the preserved spiral form of the Aliao. In the, in the Ula Nifo defined strength that adapts to modern changes. She dares to venture beyond the norms, riding the changes of time yet draws strength from tradition, culture, and beliefs. All the while, her reverence does not waver. Elegant finesse shine through time and change. Designed by Moiloto and overseen by Susanna and Belenato of the School of Fine Arts, and constructed by Susanna Bellinazzo and the students of the School of Fine Arts. Yeto, may se pati pati tele mo loto, mo loto, and her traditionally inspired way. Thank you, contestant number two. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto the stage contestant number three. Helen to for you is it solo let me see your Miss Tainelele creations. Here can we have another round of applause for contestant number two and contestant number one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome onto the stage contestant number three. Helen Tau for you is Tolo Lemisio. Uamata Ina, Lemamalu, Oletama Ita Isamoa. 
Any someone to my Ta'i's personality is easily known with how she carries herself, how she stands, walks, sits, and talks. So my Ta'i Samoa are highly respected by their brothers and guarded as they would be, as they would the apple of their eye. O lato, o lato, oi, oi, matau tuangani. She's the one who would resolve any conflicts or would bring peace to any situation. Awa oia, olepai, male auli. Miss Tainilale's traditional attire embodies all of these aspects. The gracefulness of a Tamai Tai Samoa and being respected is portrayed by the coats made of dried banana leaves and the fowl woven and flowing on the side and gathered forming the top part of the attire as the respect shown during our ceremonies welcoming guests. The strength of a Tamai Tai Samoa guided by her cultural principles and Christian values being able to hold families or community together is depicted by the coconut sinnet or afa plaited of dried coconut strands which, is, which in the past were used for construction. The lower layers of her garment represents her fasinumanga. The Ietonga is an important entity for our Samoan culture, often used as a penance or to seek forgiveness, and is also used for gifting during weddings, ceremonial gift exchanges. The coconut shells sewn onto the traditional wear is one of the many uses of the coconut or the treat of life. The majority of Miss Tainilale's traditional wear is made of siapo, a fine cloth made from the bark of the mulberry tree, painted with tattoo symbols from the malu and tatau, with extreme pride, representing community, power, status, respect, honor, and pride. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for contestant number three, Miss Taina Lele Creations. Da, la, 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 la. Malofa Pitai Lava, Miss Tain and Lake Creations. Yet a Mr. Patti Patti Tail and Nam or Tato, Tamaita Itauva. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number four, Miracle Afele, Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters. In September every year, we celebrate the importance of sign language around the world and the International Week of Deaf People. Miss Miracle Afele's traditional inspired attire is dedicated to minority groups, which includes persons with disabilities, women and children, and our Soki, sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression community in Samoa. The cape is made of afa, senet, with hundred ipupopo buttons, symbolizing Miracle's connection to her community, her church, her ainga, and her people, despite the many barriers she faces. As she removes the cape, Miracle's attire is made up of siapo painted with black, symbolizing solidarity commitment and unity. Black also represents the Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters. The top of her garment is surrounded with white sharp teeth to protect the dignity of a Tamaita'i Samoa in her aina. The afa represents the malu design of a Tamaita'i Samoa. The back represents ngongo seagulls made up of lopa from Tukutafoe and sisi seashells from the ocean of her beautiful Samoa. The lower, the lower layers of her cab garment represents her fasi nomanga. As a young deaf tamaitai with a message that everyone is equal in God's eyes.
Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters outfit is, is designed by Tifa Nerolan Tuituyo Lengato Aitele, Saifoloi, and the team. Say to Emaise Patipati Lengangana Faatanga, Nangana Faitanga, Ealoa Iai, Ealeta Maitai, Ya Miracle Afile. Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters, Miss Miracle Afili. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto the stage our contestant number five, Cherish Fatmanu Manaya, Miss Samoa New Zealand. Cherish draws inspiration from the theme Onomea Uaato Iaile Mataina Malemamalu Olitomaitai Samoa. The essence of a Samoan woman, influenced by various factors, including cultural, social, and personal experiences. The design depicts Jerry's cherishes journey and growth to inspire the youth to embrace their cultural roots. The orange dress signifies her respect for traditions. The afa that adorns the dress represents Jerish's sense of community. Although she resides in New Zealand, she places a strong emphasis on community and family as part of her everyday life. As Tuiatua quoted, I am not an individual because I share my tofi and inheritance with my village, my family, and my nation. The structural design strategically wrapped over the shoulder presents the tapestry of cultural identity of Atamaita Isamoa. We are not defined by language or how we are immersed in cultural practices, but we are defined by how we carry ourselves with respect, service and identity. The white seashells and orange-brown feathers on the dress embodies our faith. The overall message, Cherish Hopes, her traditional wear portrays is that it's not about the dresses we wear, the rare beauty we possess, or the depth in which we speak the language, but foremost, we place significance to the anofale. Olemato tamali ianga, olemato fasino manga, omato not omato nafatosi, omato matafa yoi, olemalu ainga. This was designed by Thompson's Bridal Couture. Thank you, contestant number five, Miss Samoa, New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome contestant number six, by Leigh Von Dinglich, Miss Jad Samoa. Miss Jad Samoa traditional wear is inspired by the 2023 Year of Youth theme. Green skills for youth, highlighting the importance of equipping young people with green skills to act as catalysts to lead transition to a greener future. The Cape of Violet's traditional wear is constructed with afa or the Samoa synod, made from dried fibers of the coconut husk, indicating a message and need for unity in order to sustain Samoa's natural resources, the land and sea. Miss Jad Samoa gown utilizes recycled traditional and natural materials. The bodice of her traditional wear is made of Samoan siapo, painted in brown and decorated with the afa, coconut and seashells. These earthy colors resemble the elements of recreation that are found in our natural environment and reusing materials in a creative and innovative way. The inner parts of her, of her gown, painted in shades of blue, is dedicated and inspired by one of the ocean's important sea, cre uh, sea creatures, the funga, or parrotfish, that plays an important part in the reef ecosystem. The details of her gown and wrist are made of 5,255 individual pieces of recycled siapo that were intricately cut and painted to resemble fish scales, emphasizing the need for collective efforts protect and preserve the marine environment including our corals and the funga. Her headpiece and accessories are made of corals, seashells and flowers 
made entirely out of fish scale waste, promoting the theme of reduce, reuse, and recycle. Tonight, Ms. Jad Samoa hopes to spread awareness for our communities to protect and preserve the parrotfish and for our youths to use their talents and find creative ways to use recycled materials to demonstrate innovation and creativity. Contestant number six, Ms. Jad Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our contestant number seven, Siliva Siaea, Miss Enna's LA. Siliva Siaea's traditional wear is made entirely of Siako, an ancient art form of Samoan culture passed down from generation to generation. The Siapo is the representation of her culture and her family as she believes the strength of the family bond is the foundation of Samoan culture. These are what grounds her and shapes her to be the person she is today. Each design intricately drawn using ink or dye to tell the story of our ancestors. Her attire is adorned with different treasures found on our lands and ocean. The top is decorated using afa or sinet, though small to the eye, but is strong enough to be used in the construction of a traditional Samoan architecture. The laufala or flax is formed in a shape of a flower decorated by buckles made from coconut shells. The seashells represent her relationship to the ocean a relationship based on dependency. The health of our ocean affects the equilibrium of the whole planet. Many species around the world are intertwined through a marine food web. We as Pacific people depend on the ocean for our livelihood. However, our actions have affected the ocean and it has made it clear that our relationship with the ocean should be reciprocal. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have another round of applause for contestant number seven, Miss Enna's LA. Thank you, contestant number seven, Miss Enna's LA. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome on the stage contestant number eight, Nicolina June Akui, Miss Apia Insurance Company. The concept of Nicolina's traditional inspired attire for tonight is called Zalalele. It's a combination of the Samoan names given by the Samoan community, who lived with two of the most influential figures in the development of literacy in Samoa. Zala from Tusitala as writer of tales which was the Samoan name of Robert Louis Stevenson and Lele from Lele was the Samoan name for his wife Fanny as she was known to be wearing white everywhere she goes making a flying cloud-like look. Tala Lele is Nicolina's celebration to our Samoan language as we had just opened the Samoan language week last week. The dominant colors for uh, this macrame masterpiece are a depiction of the translation of our oral language into black and white and also a tribute to the work of the missionaries who have had a huge contribution to the development of literacy in Samoa. Nicolina would like to remind us of the importance of our Samoan language. It is how we communicate with each other and displays a pivotal role in our culture. As Dr. Panafi says, Ale aise ngangana, wale aise nganuu, ale aise nganuu, wa pole nuu. Our language helps us to connect with each other, and being able to connect with each other embodies our way of living and what we can do as a family, a community, and as a nation. And as a Tamaita Samoa, it is her language that really determines her onomea and defines her anofale. Talele was designed and put together by 
by Fola Saitu Beyonce Fa'ailo. Together with the assistance of everyone at Team Nicolina. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Miss Samoa Insur Miss Apia Insurance Company. Have another round of applause for contestant number eight, Miss Apia Insurance Company. Miss Apia Insurance Company. Contestant number eight. Amaisa Pati Pati Tele Molitato contestant number eight. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing contestant number nine, Moe Moana Safa Toashwenki, Miss Samoa, New South Wales. Ladies and gentlemen, Moe Moana's traditional wear represents the importance of land and earth in Samoa. Preserving and perpetuating our land goes hand in hand with preserving and perpetuating our culture. The word fanua, which means land in Samoa, is also used to refer to a woman's placenta. This garment also references the goddess of Nafanua, who emerged from the land and fought battles. Moe Moana's first layer is a two-piece garment made from Samoa's lauti leaves made by Moe Moana's father, mother, Matavai and Miss Samoa New South Wales team. Thousands of lauti have been twisted, plaited and woven to represent the strength and everlasting ability of land. The leaves have been intricately so hands-on to an Iatonga base made by Samoan Sydney designer Ivana Katua. As the layers unfold, as the layers unfold, white shells cascade, embodying the wisdom of a Samoan verb, a longotai u a longota. When it is felt toward the sea, it is felt toward the land. The connection of sea with land is represented with the hundreds of seashells that adorn her dress. This dress is made by one of Samoa's leading designers with over 20 years of fashion experience, Rupi Taitu Unga. The colors of green and white remind Moemoana of Fafao Sawali'i the Cove of Spirits and Cape Mulinu'u, Samoa's most western point in Sabai, sacred village of Tufutafoe. Thousands of coconut trees line the road and the beaches hold bright white shells like the shells on Moe Moana's dress. In Samoa, humans are not seen as individuals, but are seen as integral parts of the land, of the skies and of course the sea. One cannot exist without each other. Thank you, contestant number nine, Miss Samoa, New South Wales. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you, 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 Let's welcome onto the stage contestant number 10, Karameli Sarah Prasau, Miss Arilei Kotua. Yes, 
Rosa Bazzicelli to welcome Caramelli Sarah Purcell. Eu no mea leta ma ita i Samoa ilana tautua fa tamali. Tonight, Caramelli commands your attention as she enters the room, drawing inspiration from Queen Salama Asina to Yaana Tamalilangi. Her beautiful headpiece is adorned with shells, reflector pieces and hand weave fibers from the Fao and the Fangayi'o trees. Her rope and fitted gown are embellished with a plethora of rich natural Samoan materials, including Ua from the mulberry tree and Afa or Sinid. Caramelli's royal mantle wraps around her arms and is intricately cut with mamanu tracing along the edges and up her spine. Salama Asina brought unity, grace, peace and service to her people. Oleala ile pule. Ole tsautsua. The path to leadership is through service. Karameli's traditional wear brings life to this Samoan proverb by highlighting through the patterns along the bottom that flows upwards that service is the essence of the journey to the top. The back of her dress further accentuates the interwoven mamanu to signify unity is strength. Tonight, Karameli celebrates being a Tamaita'i Samoa and how service is at the heart of every Samoan. Designed and put together by local fashion boutique, Arile Kotua. Thank you, contestant number 10, Miss Arile Kotua. gentlemen now that we've seen the individual contestants in their traditionally inspired attire let's welcome the contestants back onto the stage for their final walk in their traditionally inspired attire ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for our contestants for Miss Samoa get yourself Miss Samoa pageant 2023 Ladies and gentlemen, don't they look very stunning and beautiful? Hello, lava. Hello to all our designers and creative forces behind these amazing creations. Our next category is the stage interview category. The combination of the scores from the pre-pageant interviews and tonight's stage interview will determine the winner of the Best Interview Award. But before we proceed with the stage interview, let's have a word from our sponsors. The Digicel, Miss 
o le fa la launga a le digital miss samoa pageant lua filua tolu ilunga o le radio samoa wa ma fa yuna awina tu ona o le lango lango mai a le eveni pacific se fa yani fo awole aso la vai te fio mai ai ile shine dental ai 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 inga fa pitoa mato te sali ali after pay ze q cards fa pay wins quote ile shine dental e fa ye fo fa tal no nga mali acc ile shine dental le ai se tsong ni mo fa na o ile bawo se fulu lo ile se fulu bawo tu sanga ile shine dental tal no mai le tsong ni no le fa nga o ni fo fa nga ai le zip smile now pay later le ai se tulu ile shine dental a fio mai le lima fi tu fa great south road man ka o pe bala aule Lua fitu fitu ono ono fa fa. Lua fitu fitu ono ono fa fa. Mole shine dental. Ole fa sala launga ala Digicel Miss Samoa pageant lua filua tolu ilunga ole Radio Samoa. Wa ma fai ona awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ala Eveni Pacific. Ladies and gentlemen, we just want to join the team by thanking our sponsors once again. Fa afetai tele lava. We've come to the final category of this year's Digital Miss Samoa Pageant 2023, your stage interview. Ivala watu manfa alualo, ita mai tauva numero tasi, Miss Lavash Katua, please welcome onto the stage for your interview. Talo Fatashana, please pick a question. Sashana, your question for tonight is on equity for social development. If you are crowned Miss Samoa, how would you utilize your platform to promote fair access to opportunities for young people, including young people with disabilities? Could you please rephrase the question? If you are crowned Miss Samoa, how would you utilize your work as Miss Samoa to ensure that there's fair access to opportunities for all young people, including those young people with disabilities? I would use my platform to ensure fairness in our young generation through programs uh, where we can spread the light on the different ways that people can be, especially people with disabilities. Um, not everyone is the same, we are all different. So really uh, sharing the light and spreading the light on the differences we have and how to deal with them to ensure equality in our country. Thank you, Fafsai Lava. Thank you, contestant number one, Ms. Lavash Katua. Evalawa to Manfalo, to my Taita Va Numera Lua, Moeloto Le Ma Moeloto Le Ula Le Mamaya Vito Lina, Chelsea Wilimina, Tuila Epa Tia Tia, Miss Lotta Tau Agency, Afio Maya Ilumane, Mole Talingo Lofusili. Salofa Moeloto, please pick a question. Moeloto, your question is on leadership development in Samoa. If you were crowned Miss Samoa, how will you promote leadership that's grounded in your Samoan culture and values? Thank you for the question. Can you repeat it again? <laughs> if you were crowned Miss Samoa, how will you promote leadership that's grounded in your Samoan culture and values? That's a big if. If I was crowned Miss Samoa, how I would advocate leadership through our youth and every other generation is through culture. I will have, I will go to schools. Salanoi tamaiti. Edenga tailia. Faasoi tamaiti ia. I use myself as an example because I am an entrepreneur and I use my talents and I try to learn more talents in order for me to adapt 
peafai e alvaloa mucha taleni dea pe mucha les taleni pe mucha les taleni ala yai le met tu yai elenga taidea ai ya mauti no mama wa lo fa alo alo lo wanga nu lo tsau tsala ilu mo tsangata elenga taidea for you to have the confidence to lead a community, to lead a country, to lead a nation. Faftai lava. Thank you, contestant number two, Miss Lotto Tau Agency. Ivala wa tu manfalo alo li tu mai tai tau va numero tolu. Helen tau fa you is tolo le misio. Miss Tane Lele Creations ete fio mai mo lau fasili. Talo fa Helen. Talo fa. Please pick a question. Helen, your question for tonight is on women and cultural heritage. In your opinion, do you think Samoan women have a role in sustaining our cultural heritage and why? Thank you for the question. In my opinion, I know that all of us women are already empowered and to keep that empowerment for all of us is to ensure that all women behind the scenes have showcased their culture, showcased their talents, showcased their values, and to know that they are worth with everything that they do. Fafsai Lava. Thank you, contestant number three, Miss Taina Lelei Creations. Valawa to Manfa Alualo, to my title of number five. Miracle Afile, Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters. Hello, Miracle. Please pick a question from the bowl. Miracle, your question for tonight is on women in sports and development. How can sports development promote the empowerment of women and girls? Thank you. I think in the past with sports, um, Again, please, Mira. In like for example, in Australia, I went to the Deaf Olympics. Um, it shows people, many people, that communi communication. I'm very excited about traveling, and I enjoy sports even when I am deaf. Yeah, that's, that's what yeah. she wanted Thank you, Miracle. Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ia Ivala Watu Manfaloalo, Elitumai Tai Tauva Numero Lima, Cherish Famanu Manaya, Miss Samoa New Zealand, Etefio Maya, Ilumanei, Moletalingol Tato Kusili. Talo for Cherish, please pick a question. Cherish, your question tonight is on governance, peace, and security. One of the activities for this year's pageant was community engagement. How can village governance further promote peace and security in our communities and why? How can we promote How can village peace and security? Oh, sorry. How can village governance further promote peace and security in our communities and why? Thank you for the question. How, by collaborating everyone from the government, communities, 
get together to promote more peace within our community by going to churches, villages, because that's where it all starts from, your own Aulotu. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number five, Miss Samoa, New Zealand. We now call on contestant number six, Violet von Dinklage, Miss Jad Samoa, Etefio Mai, Moletalinga, Laufasili. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been told what to do, so that's exactly what we're trying to do. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Ms. Jad Samoa for her stage interview. Talo for Vile, please pick a question. Vaile, the topic for you tonight is quality of education. Education plays a critical role in leadership development. As an emerging young leader, how can we improve the quality of education in Samoa and why? Thank you for the question. Tough one, hey. <laughs> so the question, how can I improve? the quality of education in Samoa. Ooh. Well, I believe the issue that we are now facing in education is the drop rates of literacy and numeracy, especially with our young, especially with our boys. So how we can help improve this quality of education, we need to encourage our young generation to please stay in school. As well as, and please do some reading, be happy. I believe that by utilizing sports, as we all know that our kids love to play, so by using of sports as a tool, we can encourage them to come to school, stay in education. As you all know, education is the key to success. Fafitai <laughs> Lava. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have another round of applause for contestant number six, Miss Jad Samoa. Valawa to Malangang Falalo to my title of our number of feet to see leave us here. Miss Enna's LA, it's a few of my molly telling all of Fasili. Talo Fasiliva, please pick a question. See leave your topic for tonight is community development and health. If crowned Miss Samoa, how would you engage and mobilize communities for improved health and well-being? Thank you. Hello. Testing. Hi. Thank you very much for the question. That is a very interesting question. If I were crowned Miss Samoa and to improve health in our communities, I would become an ambassador for our communities and to encourage them to eat healthy and not to buy fast foods like McDonald's. Please go out, we have a land, big land, grow vegetables, fruits, very healthy for you. And yes, and like the commercial that we always see on TV, eat the colors of the rainbow, Faftai Lava. Thank you, contestant number seven, Miss Enas LA. Yeah, Vala Watu Malangang Falo. Also, my title is Vanu Meravalu. Nicolina June Akui, Miss Apia Insurance Company, for your stage interview. Talofa Nicolina, please pick a question. Nicolina, your question and your topic tonight is on sustainable tourism. 
How can we utilize our creative and cultural industries to promote sustainable tourism and why? How do we... How can we utilize our creative and cultural industries to promote sustainable tourism and why? Thank you. How all of our people are creative and talented. So what we need to do is to work together to be able to promote our culture in a healthy way in order to preserve our culture and at the same time protect our land and our people. And why it is important why is it? <laughs> why it is important because without our land and our people and our our culture there is no Samoa. Samoa is our identity and if we lose our culture if we have to compromise our culture and our people and land because of tourism then what's the point maybe in the next five to ten years there's no more Samoa so I would highly encourage you all to work together as a community to be able to preserve our land our culture and our people thank you thank you contestant number eight Miss Apia insurance company yeah, Miss Samoa, New South Wales, for your question. Talo from Moimoana, please pick a question. Moimoana, your topic for tonight is climate change resilience. As a young person, what do you see are the opportunities to engage youth in our fight against climate change? Thank you. The Pacific Islands are at the forefront of the climate crisis. And although we contribute the least to climate change, we are affected the most. I believe that the opportunity to engage our youth to be more aware about climate change is through art, dance and storytelling. Through art, dance and storytelling, we can continue to tell the world our frontline stories and grow more awareness to the effects of climate change to Samoa and the whole Pacific region. Thank you, contestant number nine, Miss South Morning, South Wales. Balawatu Ilatato Tomai Tauva Tap Tomai Tai Tauva Muli Muli numerous Fulu Carameli Sarah Purcell, Miss Ara Lake Katua for your stage interview. Salofa Carmeli, please pick a question. Carmeli, your topic for tonight is digital growth and development. How can digital platforms such as social media promote positive social change and economic growth? No, it's okay. Um, yes, please. How can digital platforms such as social media promote positive social change and economic growth? Our people, um, we need to educate our people on how to use technologies um, wisely. Um, and, um, and not posting negative stuff to affect other person and to improve our economic development we need to educate ourselves on how we can combat with issues that affect our, our people and our environments and our nation and as a Samoan to my tie. Thank you. Hello, Faktai, contestant number 10, Ms. Arale Katua. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together again for all of our contestants. 
for their bravery and courage displayed tonight. I believe we now have a word from our sponsors before we get go to the next part of our program. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The Digicel Miss Samo Pageant 2023 is made possible with the support of our sponsors, Saisa Wo'o Sponsors, Samo Airways, Chata, Bank South Pacific, Samo Shipping Services, Maria's Healthcare Pharmacy, Nalusina Transport, Supporting Sponsors, Loina's Design Sanapu, Talofa Airways, The Edge Marina Samoa, Samoa Agriculture Store Company Limited, SMI Hardware, Tanoa Hotel, Lava Hotel, Taumea Sina Island Resort, Samoa Life Assurance Corporation, Samoa Sports Facility Authority, Visions Engineering Consult, Sarona's Airbnb at Alafua, and especially the Ministry of Women, Community and Social Development, the Ministry of Education, Sports and Culture, and the Australian High Commission Direct Aid Program. Fafetai, Fafetai Telelava. Thank you to our contestants for their courage and their intellect. Ladies and gentlemen, in accordance with the Miss Samoa pageant tradition, we would like to welcome to the podium our reigning Miss Samoa, Heilani Pearl Karubu. Samoa 2003, 2002, and 2003. Heilani Pearl Kurupu. Fatalo fatu ile pe ie male mamalu o apoto poto mai ile po malole soi fua male langi e mama fafetai ile angalele lo ta to tama ile langi ona ua tsaunu manuia mai ile fa i unga o la o sabaninga male tsawa beina o le tsaw salo samoa lo afe lua lua. Malelua felu atolu. O pe ia mama malu, o lo tātoa tunu'u. O le ao le mawhai ono o o i ai se whaa matalanga. A le ao au, vai vai. A wā e le mawhai ono suia o tō mamalu. A i au se avanoa, tā ua. Le nei... Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Fatalo Fatu, Libya. Honorable Prime Minister Fia Me. Naomi Mata Afa and Cabinet Ministers and Members of Parliament in attendance, Head of Ministers and Organizations and every Samoan here are watching from home or abroad. Talofa, talofalava. I'll try to keep this short as I know it's been a long evening so please bear with me. For the last past 12 months, I've had the immense honor and privilege to serve my people through this role and platform. Being your Miss Samoa, a journey that has changed my life forever. It was, not only, it was not an easy journey I endured, a lot of hardships and challenges, but in hindsight, looking back, it has been all worth it. There were many times where I felt like giving up, but through faith in God and the support of a few good friends, I made it through and have finally arrived here tonight. This role has opened my eyes to a lot of things, has drawn me closer to my culture and especially to my people. I'm grateful for every opportunity that has opened me up for being, 
for the duration of my time as your Miss Samoa. I got to meet a lot of people and learn from inspirational people from different sectors and fields and also form many great friendships and create lifelong memories, lifelong memories. One of my favorite memories from the past months was the opportunity to work with local schools. I would often visit schools to read to young primary students and spend time with them. I thoroughly enjoyed their harmonious singing and cheeky smiles, which would warm any heart. As a former student of Mota'a Primary School, it brought back fond memories of my own time as a young student here in Samoa. I also got the chance to visit the only elderly home in Samoa, Mapufangalele, a visit that can put a smile on your face and tears in your eyes at the same time. I want to acknowledge the sisters working at this home. I witnessed firsthand their hard work and they do all that they do with such tenderness and kindness and I applaud you all. Living in Samoa for the last past 12 months has given me a deeper understanding and appreciation for our culture, a culture based on faith, love and respect. Our people have the biggest hearts they're given the honor for God, which have often witnessed through their service to their local churches, pastors, and bishops. This is why this land will always be blessed in abundance. For though this is a small island, our people here are happy and thriving and are blessed. Perhaps one of my proudest achievements have been the publishing of my story into a bilingual children's book made possible through the love and hard work of my uncle Tony Laulu of Chief Book Series. Fafitsai Tony for believing in me and my vision. I wanted to share my story to, to hopefully inspire our young people that they too can make it anywhere. All it takes is hard work, determination and unwavering faith in God. I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge a few people who have made this journey possible. I want to thank Manaya Events, my first committee as Miss Samoa. Thank you Jerry and his team for everything you've done for me. My STA family, I'll miss all the laughs, the storytelling, the jokes and the friendships we have made. Thank you, Auntie Pativaine, for everything. I will miss coming into your work every day and seeing all your lovely welcoming faces. Aumu and Puloto McCarthy, who are the directors of Miss Samoa Melbourne, thank you for believing in me and giving me this opportunity. My Motaa family, thank you for your love and support. Auntie Sio Singer who has been there from the start. I appreciate you so much. My mom, Itza, Lalavi, <clears throat> and all our family in Mota. Thank you so much. Special mention to my Mota friend, Nathan, who always lets me use Thomasina pool and gym for free, even though sometimes I park in your executive parking without permission. I thank you. I want to acknowledge my father, Len Karupu. Thank you for... Thank you, Kathy, for standing by me and supporting me. Being there on this journey has made, this, has made me love this journey even more. To my, Melbourne family back, to my Melbourne family back home, and also some who have traveled here tonight, thank you for your love and support. I want to also thank someone who has mean so, means a lot to me in the past few months, is Tofilau Fiti, who is also the CEO of SAB. You have shown me great kindness through your support for my book and all the gifts you have given me. But I am, I am most grateful for the scriptures and encouragements you shared with me. You don't know how timely some of those Bible verses have been for my journey, so thank you so much. I want to acknowledge the many fashion houses in Samoa who have been so kind to help and provide for me throughout this journey. May God richly bless all your talents and especially your businesses. Special thanks to Mama, so Taupule of Arile, they have been there from the very start of my Miss Samoa campaign right up to now. They still pull through for me whenever I need something to wear. Mama Pearl of Sofai Creations, Prophet Lava, for the last two weeks, your hard work and kindness did not go unnoticed. Tongi of Tears Boutique, thank you for always so welcoming when I visit your shop. And also, Alvis from Tahiano, your talent is amazing, and I thank you for always going above and beyond to design everything for me. Simon of Hyundai Samoa, thank you for providing me with the vehicle for the last past 12 months. My time in Samoa would have been so difficult without reliable set of wheels, and you graciously provided me with that. Charter Salon for all the nail appointments, even when it's last minute, you always took me in. I love Michelle for the friendship that we have and for your talents. My netball club, Skopa, 
Love you, girls. Thank you for all the memories. <laughs> Buffett Sai Lava on Amir Productions. Your support and your love means a lot to me. Thank you for putting on an amazing event here tonight. My law lover. Rota Friends Samoa, thank you, Ran and the team, for all the months you have worked together. Glenn and Tino, these two individuals have mean so much to me. They've worked tirelessly, tirelessly on my talent for Miss Pacific. We also prepared one for tonight's, but unfortunately, because of time, we were unable to do so. Glenn and Tino, you have become such valuable friends to me, always trying to encourage and push me to do better. Thank you, guys. You have truly... You, to a truly incredible and talented and gifted, and I pray God's blessing all over your lives. To my best friends, Met My Trinity and Jaden, who are all here tonight, thank you, sisters, for you always supporting and loving me. But not last but not least, <clears throat> my my Vibasir family. Thank you for taking me and loving me as your own. You have been the biggest blessing on my Miss Samoa journey. I know I'm different and I do some things differently too. But you never failed to make me feel loved and accepted and seen. The kindness and love you have shown, I will never forget. <clears throat> S. and Henry, thank you for everything. Any times I come to you guys, when I've had tough days, and you've always made me laugh or given me advice on how to handle my situations. I pray for good health, a long life for Papa and Mama, and God's blessings over our whole family. To my pageant sisters, I know it's cliche to say you are all winners, but I hope you all know and I believe that you are truly all winners. It takes tremendous courage to step out here and be judged not only by the pageant, but by the public as well. And in and in this age of technology and social media, opinions and comments can be cruel and unkind. But you all took the step of faith and endured pageant weeks and the pageant stage. I applaud each and every one of you. To the next Miss Samoa, I congratulate you. Malole Ongasai. A friend of mine once told me, Hey Lani, this role is a role of service and it puts you in a rare opportunity to impact many people whom you can't reach just as Hey Lani. But you can now as Hey Lani, the Miss Samoa. And I leave you with that. Be ready to serve as Christ once said, the greatest amongst you shall serve others. And yes, heavy is the head that wears the crown, for this role comes with a lot of responsibilities. But I know you will be more than capable of stepping up and always to remember that you are worthy. Make the most of your opportunities because 12 months will fly so fast. And yes, you'll be in a rare position to impact many, so make it count, my sister. I wish you all the best and may God guide and lead you. To my to my to my to my Samoa, be bold, be courageous and be daring. Dare to be great for greatness is within you. I hope I have inspired at least one of you to step out of your comfort zone and strive and strive for your dreams. Samoa, if I have wronged you or offended you in any way, please forgive me. <clears throat> you have always and will always have a special place in my heart. I give thanks and glory to God for all that he has done through me while on this platform. I'm just a mere servant of his will. Samoa lo uvatunu upele, ele ngalo oe, to faso ifua. Fia to our mice party party tele, Molatato to Sala Samoa, Lua, Felua, Lua, Lua, Femalitolu. My may I now call on our Miss Samoa 2002 2023 for her last and final Siva Samoa for our audience, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome Heilani Kuru, Girl Kurupu.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the moments that you have all been waiting for. The announcements of our winners and the crowning of our new Miss Samoa 2023-2024. It is our pleasure to now call back onto the stage our beautiful 10 contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the contestants as they make their way back onto the stage for our prize giving. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number one, Tashana Opelu, Miss Lavash Katua. Contestant number two, Moeloto Leula Le Mamae Vitolina Chelsea Tula Epatiatia, Miss Lotatau Agency. Contestant number three, Helen Taufayu is Solo Lemsio, Miss Taina Lele Creations. Your contestant number four, Miracle Afele, Miss Samo Association of Sign Language Interpreters. Your contestant number five, Cherish Fatmanu Manaya, Miss Samo New Zealand. And your contestant number six, Vile Von Dinklage, Miss Jayat Samoa. Contestant number seven, Siliva Sia Air, Miss Enna's Creation. And contestant number eight, Nicolina June Akui, Miss Apia Insurance Company. Your contestant number nine, Moe Moana Safato Shwenki, Miss Samoa New South Wales. And finally, your contestant number 10, Carameli Sarah Purcell, Miss Ara Lei Katua. Malo, ladies, Malo, Fafitai, we are almost there. Sali ia tato fai unga fa masino ia tato nu ole a fai yatu samato upu tau ma vai awa mauti no alava e uma lo ona lau tato result le i masesi to ifi fa alongo mai ilma ia ma ua ia le pa ia ole a fio manatu ua lama lama fa i ule tato fa moe moe le ne ia fia fi mai fa le ole nga nga fa ftai le pa i o samo poto poto a e mai se ole tapo i nga mamalu samo i tu e fio le kelope. Ia o upu ma sani lava tato wa tunu u e le ai lava se faiva e asa ma se mau mau se upu u asasi a o se anga foi u ale tau tamali i lau tau sila sila ma sau tau ma tau mai ma lu lava ave ifale i sau tau fina ngalo ma la malama a wai poto lava le tau tai a se se la na tu yama a tu wa malafu 